What's going down, guys? This is Bill and Tom with the Boston Knuckle Garage. Today we're going to talk about machining injectors. Now, I know a lot of you guys with the turbo swaps, the tuning, all this other stuff, you want to get more fuel delivery for more power, obviously. And these torque monsters, there's one easy way to do it. Not Bosio nozzles and all this other shit. I'm going to teach you one thing. Get your injectors out. I'm going to get a 15 millimeter wrench. Oh, son of a bitch, too fucking loose. You'd want to loose, don't you? Anyways, 15 mil wrench. Good amount of torque, get that off. You can use an impact gun if you want, but. Anyways, once that's nice and loose, pull that off. This is the retaining nut to your injector. Now, people have these fucking ways, like, this is what you do, this is what you do. This is what you fucking do. Grab a fucking hammer because the years and years you spent in your engine, it's not gonna come out. Lightly tap it. That comes out, no problem. There's your crush washer for your reinstallation, just use that again. And clean that up, the rag here. That is your injector nozzle. That is what you need to increase the size of. Now you have to be careful, there's a disc here and these two little pins. Don't touch that shit, leave it the fuck alone. This has to line up with these holes. Two holes there, one hole there, goes on just like that. Do not touch that, don't fuck it up. And what you're gonna do, these are 0 0.184 millimeter holes in your injector. Stock orifice size. There's a little pin in this fucking nozzle. You take that, give it a little tap. It's being a cock. Grab some side cutters. Grab it lightly. That is your plunger thing. Now you don't want to lose that, damage that, don't scratch that. Put that side on a rag or something nice. Now, what you want to do, you want to get a drill bit. So we got 0.184 millimeters stock. Now this, I measured with my micrometer, it's 1.2 millimeters. This will give you the fuel, the power, everything you need to make your fucking diesel go like Jack the fucking bear. Now, put in a vise. You want to find the hole, right? They're real hard to see. Start off slow. Oh, sorry. Now you don't want to scratch these or anything because these are very precision machine instruments. Fuck. Now. You know what guys, this is a little harder than I think. I read online, but. What you want to do. You want to. There we go. Start your little, oh, fuck. You know what guys, there's a better way to do this. What you want to do, flip it upside down. One hole is all you really need. It's all the fucking power you're going to need. You're going to measure drill it. Perfect. That's going to go right out. There you go, boys and girls. That's how you fucking bore out your injectors. You have a fucking two millimeter hole right there, 1.2 millimeter hole in the end of her. Now, when you install that back on your injector, grab that. Don't forget the little fucking plunger, right? So what happens is this pulls back, lets the fuel out of the nozzle. Put that in there. Now, line up your three holes like we already talked about. Like so. Thread this piece of shit back on. 15 mil. When you install this beast, your car will be smoking like a fucking freight train. If you do the turbo mod on our channel with the compressor wheel fins, plus this, all I can say is you better change your clutch because she'll be fucking slipping. This thing will be going down. Anyways, guys, tune in for more top of the line TDI builds. We're going to do a homemade computer mod chipping. We're going to do it all. Rims, everything. Tires, wheel bearings, performance, fuel lines. 